In this movie, we're going to take a colored photo and we're going to turn it black and white and then repaint some of the original color back in. This is done with a special type of layer adjustment called Hue and Saturation. So let me delete what I've done already and we can start from scratch. If your layer menu is not showing, go up to the window menu and let me un then if it's not checked then you can check it sometimes it's over to the side hooked up to the other palettes and you can just drag it over so it's close by so I'm going to take this layer and I'm going to delete it and we'll start from scratch first thing you need to do and you can do it by clicking this icon here to create an adjustment layer or you can come up to the layer menu and new adjustment layer hue and saturation if you're using the layer menu it would be hue and saturation then you take the middle slider the saturation and slide it all the way to the left and this removes the color then you can click OK. Now when you're working on this new adjustment layer, make sure you've got it selected in the layers palette. So now I'm going to get a brush. I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is black. Throughout this process you may need to change the size of your brush. When you're in larger areas you can use maybe a little bit larger brush if you're trying to recolor an area that's real thin not much space you may want to change it to a smaller brush so let me get a brush about this size and then I'm going to start bringing back the color actually the color never disappeared If you look over here, you can see it's still on the background. Notice the hue and saturation layer. Wherever I'm painting with black, it's like cutting a hole in a stencil. It's cutting out that portion and allowing the color that really is still there beneath it to show through. So think about this process being like cutting, taking scissors and cutting out holes in a piece of paper that's laying on top of your colored photograph. So I can continue this process. If you happen to make a mistake and you go over here and you really didn't want that, it's a very simple to correct it. There's actually two ways. If you see your mistake right away, you can come up here and get your undo history. And you can just undo by clicking the previous layer, which you just did. Another way, this is good if you discover it later, you can flip your foreground color and let it be white and the white actually is putting the mask back in place so you use the black in the foreground to reveal the color which I'm continuing to do here maybe I want to do some over here and again I'm going to change the size to a smaller one maybe to get into these fine tips and don't worry about being that precise you can always correct it by choosing white for your paintbrush color Okay, you can continue this process and decide how much of the color you want to reveal. We'll come over here and show you a different color like we might want to put in part of the leaf that's here. You could come over and you could colorize back of the stems. This would be good on a photograph of a child. You could tint the lips and maybe the eye color. 
So have fun with this and you can create some very original looking graphics for your website.